uh, events of the uh, last few weeks, especially concerning the fact fight mission in Athens. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, what we thought in doing when uh, we decided to make a fact finding mission to Athens is to shed light on an untold case of repression in Europe. I think there hasn't been, since 1945, a so blatant attack to personal freedom, to political freedom, and to a party that has been and is being represented in the regional, national, and European parliament. This is the case of Golden Dawn. Are we talking about a political movement or a criminal association? Well, when we went there, when we saw the, uh, the lawyers, the solicitors, and when we could speak to people, we had the very clear impression that we were talking about a clear repression of a political movement. We had uh, uh, clear evidence that the uh, elements of the accusation are ideological, are suspicions, are sort of guilt by association, but nothing, no concrete evidence of criminal activity, and uh, are an entire picture created by the media and by the government of a party that shouldn't be in the uh, political uh, uh, forum, that shouldn't be, that, that shouldn't be uh, present in the political activity, but should be banned. We think that uh, this activity of the state, why do we say the state, why do we say, why don't we say the judges and we say the state? Very simple, because there are evidence that the political representative, and in particular the former Prime Minister of Greece, ordered, but with a telephone call that has been uh, uh, taped and uh, registered and uh, shown to people, ordered to its uh, political judiciary, to, sorry, to its uh, judiciary, to its uh, prosecution uh, uh, people, to act against Golden Dawn. And this is a very clear mix of political and juridical powers. This shouldn't exist in Europe or in the civilized world. We have evidence of this repression. We have evidence that the repression had to be absolutely strong and clear against the leadership. Because obviously, when you want to dissolve an organization, when you, have, when you want to uh, hit an organization, you hit the head, you hit the commanding and the leading parts in order to dismantle the entire organization. It's a fact that this has not taken place. Now we have a movement that, and obviously my colleagues here will speak about it, but we have a movement that stood at the election and became the third party at the general election. Um, we also uh, need to say that this repression wasn't just uh, a number of people arrested, 70 people indicted and prosecuted, it was also a case of murder. There were two young activists who were murdered outside the headquarters of Golden Dawn with, I would say, in cold blooded um, action, uh, with a sort of uh, typical terrorist. Uh, it wasn't sort of uh, after an argument, it wasn't uh, after a fight, it wasn't during a demonstration. No, it was a cold blooded uh, action done by people who I think had some trainings some military training. And this is something that is not uh, disconnected to the act action of repression against Golden Dawn. It's part of it. We had uh, in, uh, in Greece, in this fact-finding mission, where we had the chance also to meet the leaders uh, of, uh, of Golden Dawn, um, we had with us a, an important, eminent Russian lawyer, uh, Mikhail Kuznetsov, who has been uh, the defender of uh, uh, President uh, Milosevic of Yugoslavia 20 years ago and has been uh, defending, uh, uh, let's say, political liberties, political freedom of uh, uh, politicians all over the world. But when, when, when he was very clear in saying that uh, we are facing a case of repression and that it's possible to do any sort of uh, appeal to 
court of justice, whether it's uh, Strasbourg or Lyon or whatever it is, court of justice that will have to examine this case to actually prosecute the people who have prosecuted. We have to uh, really <coughs> appeal to the highest level of law um, in order to um, um, create a situation in which the victims, and the victim here is Golden Dawn, will be actually the people accusing an establishment of having done an incredible act of repression in, 2000, in the years 2014 and 2015. I think that our action will continue uh, until justice is done. We expect in the next uh, 30, 40 days these people to be freed because obviously the, the, the uh, prosecution couldn't, uh, uh, couldn't uh, create a, a real prima facie case. And uh, all together, as uh, APF, uh, will be um, acting to uh, will be acting to defend this this movement from uh, this horrible attack that has taken place. Um, I'm an Italian freelance journalist. I followed the mission in December for the, the Italian newspaper Il Giornale, and I would like to ask to Mr. Epitideios. Uh, uh, do you think, uh, what, what will be, in your opinion, the attitude of Syriza uh, about the, the case of Golden Dawn? They will make uh, this, uh, this trial uh, for, for your deputies, or uh, they will be released? Uh, what will be the attitude of Syriza uh, regarding the Golden Dawn? Actually, it's a very nice uh, question, and thank you very much for raising it, asking it. Uh, so far, uh, the situation is not that clear. Uh, it is, uh, it is uh, uh, the next day of our elections, and uh, Syriza, who is now the government of power, uh, is not uh, formed yet, and uh, haven't uh, presented yet uh, the policy going to follow. Before the elections, there were many promises, there were many uh, manipulation of, uh, <coughs> of these tendencies, and uh, the program of Syriza uh, has not been clear enough. Actually, uh, Golden Dawn is, uh, in my view, the biggest problem that Syriza would have, because uh, it, it will be a question what to do with us? Uh, if, I mean, uh, the question is, does uh, Syriza ready to follow the same policy as a new democracy followed against us or not? If yes, it will be in a big trouble because uh, we are in you know, the national opposition, the real opposition, and Syriza knows that. If it follows the same policy with a new democracy. It is absolutely certain that we are uh, increase our power, and we get the support of all uh, Greek people, even the supporters of new democracy. Ideologically, these people are our followers, but uh, they scare or they're not uh, uh, willing or mature enough to vote for us. Because they were scared uh, about Syriza, about what Syriza would be. And then they preferred to vote again for new democracy. If now Syriza continues the same policy, these people will be liberated and uh, support our, our party. Uh, if they do not, if Syriza does not follow the same policy as a uh, new democracy, did, and uh, please believe me that it would be for their interest and their favor to do that. Because we are, you know, the real opposition for a, a new democracy. Then, again, we will get in the power. Because our leader will be uh, liberated, our, uh, our members of our national parliament will be liberated as well. And uh, if they allow us to express and run our political uh, struggle, in a, a democratic way, in a way of equality, 
then we will be again uh, the people who will uh, get uh, support from other people will uh, uh, increase uh, the strength. Then it's a, a dilemma, a dilemma for them. What to do? Actually, honestly, I don't know what uh, uh, you know the, the their decision would be. What is sure is that our party called the dawn is a problem for them. Maybe the biggest problem. Thank you. Thank you. My question is for Mr. Roberto Fiore, and uh, it's still in, in regards of the fact finding mission in Athens. Um, we understand that uh, it took part of this mission uh, an eminent Russian lawyer, Mikhail Kushetsov. Uh, could you please tell us what is juridical approach to the Golden Dome case? <coughs> well, at the moment he's drawing a, a sort of a drawing. A, legal sheet to say to see really if there is an infringement of any uh, what we would call constitutional right uh, definitely he thinks there is a breach on uh, the uh, the human uh, the human rights uh, laws and uh, uh, there is a possibility of appealing again um, uh, sort of before a, a, a european court of uh, law uh, the funny thing is this, that uh, often uh, Russians are considered the sort of uh, um, the, the fighters for um, uh, action against uh, uh, liberal laws, but often is the case instead that uh, legal, uh, the Russian legal representatives uh, happen or um, to, to defend uh, personal freedoms. If there is a case, for instance, an important case in Italy, there was a case of crucifix, uh, basically on the right of uh, schools in Italy to put a crucifix in the, in, in the classrooms, uh, and uh, the first case was lost, and Italy lost uh, the case. I'm talking about four or five years ago, but in the appeal court, uh, some Russian um, lawyers intervened in, on, a, on an argument of law, which is quite interesting. Um, and they managed to uh, overturn the decision. So uh, we wanted to bring uh, Russian uh, professional lawyers to demonstrate that according to uh, Russian law, what is happening to Greece and to Golden Dawn would be absolutely uh, impossible to do in Russia. It could seem paradoxical, but this is in fact the truth. Thank you very much. This but, but a very different last question, please. Okay, it's not, uh, it's just now just came up because I'm reading to the Greek newspapers right now that um, uh, there is a serious charges against uh, Golden Dawn right now for a criminal organization from the Board of Appeals in Greece and uh, there is a trial which will go on against 18 MPs, members of the uh, Greek Parliament, and uh, other participants of the Golden Dawn. Um, is there any last comment on that? It's just a news that just came up right now. Thank you, thank you for this information, uh, online information. Uh, well, uh, the trial would be one of the possibilities. And we do not deny this possibility because we consider uh, we are uh, convinced that uh, in this trial, the truth will be uh, presented not only to the people, but uh, uh, the people of uh, world uh, worldwide. So this development is uh, welcome from our side. Once again, thank you very much uh, for this information. Thank you very much for your questions. Uh, thank you very much for coming here. Um, I wish you a nice day. And thank you very much. Bye-bye.